from here, you're going to take your knees up, bend your knees up, put your hands on the bolster, press down with the outer arms, just like we've been doing, to take your legs up and over, and then get your hands at your lower back and do all of that rotational work. So it's really hard to do all at once, is why I only do this with a chair. <laughs> take your legs up, though. Don't let your legs fall so your legs are high, exactly. If this is too much for you, then just go back to just lifting and lowering. Excellent. And the more you can externally rotate the arms, now you don't have the mat to help you, but the more you can externally rotate and bring the shoulder blades together, the more your upper back can lift off the floor. You're getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And then can you come out of hip flexion? Can you reach up? Can you stretch the balls of the feet straight up? Nice. And then those of you that are in hip flexion are going to slowly come down, bringing your hands back to the bolster and coming down nice and slow. The rest of you are going to try and come into bridge from here. So just gonna, but you have to be, you can't be in hip flexion. <laughs> you have to be straight up and down, and you'll, <laughs> which might not be anyone. <laughs> Good. And then put your hands on the bolster, use your strength, and slowly come down. These are really hard poses, right? <laughs> so um, my recommendation for everyone here, and I'm guessing many of you at home, is that you go and watch the shoulder stand class where we use a chair because the chair does this work for you. Because <laughs> this is really, really hard. So we end up, what ends up happening is we collapse onto our neck when we're in shoulder stand. We collapse in our lower back when we're in bridge. It's just, it's the easy way out. <laughs> um, it should be done just a little more skillfully. And so you, this is a good practice to get you there. 